Hi, um, my name is Heather Heyman. I am founder of Efficiency Marketing and I specialize in small business marketing. I'm also the mom of two tweens and I live in Quebec, Illinois. And I am here today with Svetlana Bakhtinova and Yevgeny Folov. And we're going to talk about productivity. Uh, could you first introduce yourselves? All right, I am as Svetlana Bakhtinova and I'm a leader of Practice Horror in the United States. And here is Yevgeny. Yevgeny Frolov, and I also lead a youth program and as well as a basic program for adults. So one reason I would like to talk to them about productivity is because they are two of the most productive people I know. Um, Yevgeny, could you just say a little bit about, you basically have two full-time careers, correct? Yes, uh, I, I have a corporate activity that I work at focus on risk and I have uh, this activity in the mornings and in the evenings that helps to train me myself first to be more productive and as well as people who train with me. Uh, they also become more productive because the system is designed to increase productivity because your body becomes mind and nervous system becomes stronger with different capabilities. So I do it for myself and they do it for others as well. Right. And so that, Lana, you have maybe three full-time jobs. <laughs> you run this studio globally. You're very active. Can you tell us just a little bit about how productive you are? <laughs> uh, thanks to Practice Hora and thanks to the knowledge of the founder of this system. Um, productivity is three things. As any of you who watched our pre previous video, we were talking about three basic, basic principles. Stability of your body, stability of your attention, and stability of your calmness, which I would not say breathing because a lot of people have their own vision and understanding of what it is. In our training, we are learning how to become your own executive, which means you are stable within unstable world, Everybody who is watching us right now could agree that our world is, is destabilizing us, um, each and one of us, in order to get the goal, you have to be focused all the time. So those basic principles of practice horror made me, as a business owner, uh, being a capable one to achieve the goal. Basically, if you have an idea, idea is usually productive because you have this first inner charge of moving forward. Then with the first difficulties, you are stopping a little bit. And then if you are not able to overcome your psychological, emotional part about those difficulties, then it would be hard to move forward. If you're capable with basic principles of uh, practice horror to overcome those obstacles, then you move a little bit higher than what you were before and you're moving forward. So any startups that would decide to become one, you have to understand that your own business, it means have three careers in one because you have to be constant in your ideas and uh, execute any of the portions of business that you have to deal with. And my productivity is based on that. I, I run the center, uh, I run all the parts of the business that is be beyond and below uh, what people see um, as, as an organizer. And um, day and night, I think how to fulfill my goals as vision, as a business owner, how this business would run to the last moment of, of my life. And this is how I live. Wonderful. Uh, can you tell us a little bit, um, as a parent, my teenagers are being asked to do many things and I would like to help them be more productive and more strong and stronger through their productivity. I want them to excel now, but excel now in a way that will build them a good life. What might you say to me or someone else looking for that information? It is an interesting topic. Just 10 minutes ago, while we were um, driving to this place, um, we're talking about how you could explain to a teenager who is 15, 16, that yes, they are smart because they already become a young individual who have their own vision, their own 
um, ideas of life, how could you show them what's productivity for the future? How you could build one moment to another moment when they wish to have what they feel like having and we see, foresee for the future that they rather need to do something else <laughs> than what they're wishing to do. <laughs> so it's all come back to the stability of emotions and stability of overcoming for the teenager, overcoming the pressure of the parent. But at the same time, hear us. You know, it's an ancient problem <laughs> where parents and kids can't hear each other because their speed of inner time is different. They are so much faster than us and for us to understand them, we are oppressing them. And in order for parents to be in sync with their child, we need, it's a really difficult topic. <laughs> I think we would have to find another time to talk about that. But coming to practice horror, give parents an ability to speed up, to hear their kids, and especially teenagers. And teenagers coming to practice horror, learning an ability to actually understand their parents as well. So combining those two principles together, speeding up the older individual and listening our capability to overcome the pressure and stay calm within it, that is a training that we provide for grown-ups and for teenagers. And Evgeny, being a specialist for young individuals, for youth, program of youth, he could say a little bit more about that. I agree with Svetlana on a couple of things uh, that she already mentioned. <clears throat> Just to add one item is about, it's eventually about you as a parent. How stable you are to continue to try to convey the point. How stable you are to try to explain the point almost again and again and again without uh, losing this uh, relationship, without uh, losing a relationship of a trusted advisor. And to retain uh, this trusted advisor, you have to have your own capabilities inside of you. So, because you lead by example, and they eventually capture things from you. So, in the practice horror training, we train an adult to become uh, more uh, efficient with their thoughts and to become more efficient with their body, efficient with their nervous system and with their attention. So, as an adult become more efficient, a parent, right? Uh, in retaining their own uh, energy inside of them, their own resources inside of them, they have a chance to try it again. With teenagers, it's try and try again until it uh, kicks in. That on their side, right? Uh, for them, as a teenager, they have to learn how to overcome by themselves, and, to, and they have to have an emotional reason why they do it. Right, and awakening that emotional reason in our times where you have uh, sometimes plenty of things is a little bit tough. Mm -hmm. okay. So if I'm a good role model, this will help my children? Uh, if you're a good role model, you're help helping many generations as well because you're impacting their the DNA of your kid as well uh, because if they become more nervous, eventually that's how uh, things programmed in their uh, side as well. So being a good role model, it's not only you keep your reserves and efficiency, not only that you keep your usefulness, but you're also impacting uh, how their DNA will be formed as well. The more nervous you are, the more nervous is the child, and their program inside of them captures and converts this into uh, eventual a program inside of them that that affects next generation as well. So you're, you're uh, stewarding uh, more than one generation. So um, I understand how important it is, but the reality of today is that's really difficult to do because you have your work life and those demands are growing you know, every, every year, more and more demands family, shuttling kids around, all the responsibilities between school and the after-school activities, regular family life. I mean, 
how is that actually possible for me? I know it is because I know you too, but I, I need to ask that for the sake of other people who don't know that. I, I think I'm listening to you and I have a life hack. <laughs> uh, because whatever we speak, it comes back to the reality. It doesn't matter how good idea in your head, if you don't um, implant it in the your and your child life, it's just the words that we just spend our time and valuable, valuable time of those who listen to us. Uh, previous session with you um, on the video, I gave a life hack of um, meditation of calmness, as we call it. It's a minute time activity um, that you connect the hand, which is represent the mind, because mind and the hand give us step-by-step step achievement of our life and the body that represent you hand and the mind together as, as a whole in the previous um, session of ours I we showed this training where you push down with your feet connect and then listen to your breathing three times uh, those who view us they could go to our website um, for usa.com and you could find this written from the founder words and explain and show how, how it actually should be done. My life hack is if you're capable of stopping yourself from emotions with this exercise or just pushing your feet down, just annihilating the emotional part, then like in East they say there's no the same sunrise or sunset. There is not the same water. So if you think about your child and you have to say the same thing over and over and over again, what happened to parents, and I think it starts from them, they're building this accumulation of rage. I, I told you so many times this and this, but our life is ongoing repetition. And with this, those repetition, if you look at the sunset and sunrise, there's no accumulation of anger of any sort that I have to rise more and more and there's more and more angry people below me how wrong they are so we're looking at the child as sun looking at the earth i know it's it's a little bit a picture <laughs> type of scenery but what i'm trying to say if you look at your child as the sun looking to the earth you, you love your child without a question if they're right or not uh, you are the one who can teach as Evgeny said teaching with an example is the best type of teaching so my life hack is just stop yourself thinking about your parent. Try not to be emotional and say the same thing like you never said it before. That is my life hack, and I am pretty sure it would improve relationships. That's good. And we should demonstrate this life hack through physical exercises because um, we do this through a physical exercise that connects mind, body, and nervous system. And uh, we eventually learn how to do this life hack that Sufana mentioned from inside. But for people who are looking at us mm -hmm. right now or gonna watch this uh, episode, we should do it again. So yeah. our yeah. audience. It's good to do it together with kids. Okay, stop <laughs> angriness. <laughs> Let's just be productive. So talking about productivity, you take your right hand, uh, just place it on the chest where it lays on its own, connect with your feet, pushing from the feet, and then just listen to your natural, natural breathing. And you do it three cycles, independent breathing in your own rhythm. And because it is a natural cycles, your own cycles, this exercise and your own breathing allows to reset the uh, commotion that are going on. You can do it more than once, you can do it standing or sitting. <clears throat> the key is to have open eyes. This way you're not running away from uh, a situation. You have to deal with situation, what's in front of you. And that situation does not disappear when you close your eyes. You have to reset your calmness while you are in the situation. So that's why this training is effective. Uh, this exercise is a way to get out 
our regular training is also the way to train that calmness so you can last longer. Wonderful. Productivity is a muscle that you can train and build with time. Practice Hora is a specialist for that. Wonderful. I think that is a wonderful way to end. So thank you very much. Uh, why don't you just say your names and your uh, website if people want more information. Uh, HoraUSA.com. My name is Svetlana Baklanova and I'm a leader and organizer of practice um, or in the United States. Okay. Uh, Evgeny Frolov. I lead uh, youth programs and as well as basic adult programs. And you can find out more information, including our videos of exercises and other videos at horausa.com.